I'm waiting on a text from USPS to pick up baby or doll orders because these are done. Can you see how big it is in my hands? Like it makes me feel so baby. Literally just to hold it. <laughs> Please interrupt the ranking break because we're gonna unbox this really quick, but yeah. It's got little illustrations, barcode, and when you open the box, it says, today I choose joy. I just wanted this little detail there. Um, fun fact, <laughs> not so fun fact, but my mom was dealing with breast cancer this year. And so a lot of making this project, I actually shared with her because I've been outed. It was, it's been a really crazy year and she's finally done with treatment, not officially in remission, but yeah. So I put this on there as a little thing for my mom because that was like one of the biggest supporters I've had for this project. And she says it to me and my family all the time. Like, are you choosing joy? You could choose joy today. You don't sound like you're choosing joy. And so I thought I could nag everybody with the same reminder because I really do feel it in my heart and try to literally choose joy every single day. It's probably why people call me Sunny. <laughs> it's got tissue. And then you're gonna root in there. It comes in a cloth bag because I thought it'd be nice to have this bag to store things in. It's got like a little BYD that I hand stamped on each bag. <laughs> Mine is already assembled, but they come disassembled so that way you can actually see the little lock on the handle. I have so much more about all of that and the fun features on Baby or Doll. And I also want to film like another video just talking about past fire, showing all the 3D prints, all the fun stuff on like a separate channel for Baby or Doll. Just to have like a place to talk about it and share and package orders and I really want to start doing a full design process again so I would like to share that and yeah but the real moment we were waiting for outside of this is look at this so this one is one of my favorite teats each pacifier comes with two teats each one so that means you get to pick between this longer round stem kind of like a cherry pop also these look like latex but they're silicone and so i custom designed two teats this one is my new favorite it looks kind of big but this little scoop on the bottom makes it so easy for this whole part to collapse like very comfortably i've never had room for my tongue in this way and so it's just really easy to relax your mouth around you can tell that i've been sucking on this um but this tongue gets a little bit smaller there and the shield doesn't bump noses or chins too so even though it looks big what's actually on your face isn't very much and it's pretty lightweight so it feels comfy <laughs> um because these are not actually made from latex, I realize that it's really hard to get this shape in silicone. And everyone, as you can tell, I love vintage things. So the fact that I could make something that was really nice for people with a latex allergy who hadn't been considered, and I don't have one, but after talking to a friend, I realize no one is addressing that or giving any options that don't hurt your mouth, but give you that look, especially if you feel nostalgic and maybe had pacifiers that were latex or latex colored teats are what you remember and think about when you think about like being small. The shield is two and a half inches. And I don't know, this has been my little love child for the last year and a half and it's here now. And I would love to do more colors, but honestly, the more support and love that I get on these means the scenery can have more colors, new pacifiers, the team that helped me design this, a friend, <laughs> said that the team is totally down to do more EVDL products. I'm excited and I don't know, this is the biggest thing I've ever done in my life. I have just always wanted to make something like this and the fact that I actually got a chance to do so is beyond me. Enough about that. Okay, it's me, future Sunny, who's editing this video. And I know that was a weird abrupt end. I want to explain this a little. I'm in the middle of editing a video that's I wanted to post today, but it is just a beast to edit. It is an S tier rank type video of me ranking about 56 plus diapers, including like some of them I actually have in the crib with me. And I thought I could get it all edited in a night and I think it's going to take me a couple days. It's a big one. So I thought I would put this guy up now because it almost feels a little too long for the main video. We'll see what happens. But I really wanted to share pacifiers with everyone here on YouTube and also say hi because it's been a while. So yeah, 
I'm all comfy in a sweatshirt, so it's like snoring against me. And of course I'm in a BYD cover. It's a very pink day is what daddy decided while dressing me. Featuring crazy amounts of like little overstock and practice of embroidery. <laughs> and this is like my little work area where I pack orders, so. Yeah, welcome to Editing Sunny. Just here to say, I promise a much longer video is coming in and sorry this is so abrupt and I just really miss everyone and wanted to say hello. So here I am and I hope you enjoyed.